Tuesday, June 28th is primary election day in New York for congressional candidates. And with me today is John Faso, Republican candidate for Congress in the 19th District. John, thank you for making some time to be with me today. Roger, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be with you and your viewers. Thank you. Uh, let's start off with um, introducing yourself to some of the folks who may not know your background. Sure. Give us a little bit of your history and how that led up to you deciding to make this run for Congress. Well, I have uh, served in public service prior to this. I served a number of years in the New York State Assembly, was Republican leader in the Assembly, and I had run for governor of New York against Elliot Spitzer back in 2006. Um, I have long been involved in civic and community affairs. My wife, Mary Francis, is the school nurse at our local high school in Kinderhook. We've lived for 33 years uh, in Kinderhook, still the same house, and uh, we've raised our family there, built our careers, and uh, made our lives. It's our version of the, of the American dream, if you will. So uh, I decided to run for Congress uh, when Chris Gibson told me he wasn't going to run, mm -hmm. uh, because really the country's in crisis, and we face an economic crisis uh, in, in America, and we also face in upstate New York a situation where a million people have left our state in the last 10 years. People are leaving every single county in this congressional district, so we really need to change direction. And I've laid out a series of proposals to do it. But my background, I'm an attorney. Uh, I went to Georgetown Law School at night where I met my wife, who also is a Georgetown graduate. She got her degree in nursing. Mm -hmm. Went to the State University College at Brockport, where I got my undergraduate degree. And we have two children, adult children, who are out of the house now. As you've traveled around the district, met with folks, can you prioritize for me maybe the, the top three concerns that people are sharing with you? Well, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll put it in the top two. Okay. Taxes and jobs. Taxes and jobs. Uh, property taxes are driving people away and not enough job opportunities for our young people. So uh, I've actually offered a plan, which is an innovative one, which would change the way uh, a state like New York uh, is able to impose Medicaid costs on county property taxpayers. We're virtually the only state in the country that does this. And I researched it. We need to amend federal law to eliminate the ability of a state like New York to impose these burdens. Ulster County, for instance, almost half of the county property tax burden goes to pay for mandated Medicaid costs that the county has no control over. And it's unfair to be putting this burden on property taxpayers. So we've got to address that. We also have to address the, the lousy job environment. And this is partially in Albany, partially in Washington. Now, you, you mentioned earlier that a million people have left the state in, in what, the last 10 years or so? Left upstate. Left upstate. Yes. And it's a good percentage of that is millennials. And how do we, how do we grow our economy in the 19th district when we're losing a lot of the young people? How do we bring them back? Well, I mean, it's a variety of things that have to be done. And it, it's not just Washington, it's also Albany. Uh, but I've proposed, uh, for instance, we need tax reform at the federal level. Uh, we're really hurting small businesses uh, on the tax side. And we're also hurting small businesses with the regulatory burden that's coming down on them, whether it's Obamacare, where if you hire, if you have more than 50 employees, you have all these new costly and expensive mandates. Uh, or Dodd-Frank has imposed so many burdens on community banks, and that's where most small businesses get their capital, where they get their loans. Small business is, is the generator of 75% of the jobs in our area. So when we make it more difficult for banks to lend to small business, you know what? We adversely affect the job climate. So there are a whole variety of regulatory changes that I want to help pursue in a new Congress uh, to try to get our economy moving. Very good. To wrap up, uh, let's encourage people to get out and vote on Tuesday, June 28th. Well, I'm hopeful that uh, everyone who's an enrolled Republican will come out uh, in the primary on June 28th, and I'm hopeful that they will support me. If they want more information about me, just go to johnfasso.com, and uh, I hope and, and pray that uh, we can be successful and on to the general election in November. Thank you, John. So on Tuesday, June 28th, if you're a Republican in the 19th Congressional District, make sure you get out there and exercise your vote. Thank you very much. Thanks.